Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. I'm Emerald and today I'm going to be talking all about clear pine, why it's used, what it's used for, and how we mill and sell it here at our log yard. So without further ado, let's get into this video. We pulled out a few semi-clear pieces from a log that we milled earlier, so let's just take a second to rewind and watch that log be milled. All right, back to present time now, and boy, that was a beautiful log, wasn't it? It was a decent size, too. Did you notice how as we got closer to the center of the log, actually more knots started to appear? Um, the reason why we think that this is, or at least this is what we hypothesize, is that as the tree, um, when the tree is small, the limbs are down low, and as the tree grows, the bottom limbs start to break off and the tree's still growing around, right? And so after the limbs have broken off, more tree go grows around it and you get nice, beautiful, clear boards from the outer layer. But as you get down closer to the middle, when the tree was still small, uh, smaller around, um, the limbs are there. So basically, the sooner the limbs fell off and like when it was still young and the more the tree grew around, the clear, more clear boards you will get out of the log. Um, so if you notice, when you take a look at these clear boards or semi-clear boards that I set aside here, uh, they're flitches, they have bark still on the sides. This is because they came off of the outer layers. And this is what we find it's usually like with the clear pine. Uh, all, only the outer layers are the clear pieces. I mean, these are just, like I said, semi-clear. There are two knots on these ends here but what we are thinking is just cut off two feet sell it as an eight footer or not just sell it as an eight foot clear board as it is instead of a 10 foot because this is a 10 these are all 10 feet um, but cut off the end and that's still clear now some of you guys might be wondering why would a completely knotless board be desirable i for one think it adds a little bit of character but regardless of what i think there are some reasons why you might want this for one, after you stain or paint your lumber, sometimes, well, 
actually most likely, your knots will bleed through. And this can be really undesirable in some circumstances with certain projects. Another reason why you might not want knots is because a knot is basically a weak point in the board. So if for some reason your project calls for a board that is not compromised at all, you might want to consider an all clear board and just because it is a compromise in the wood. So on days that we are milling pine, like we have been today, we do take special care to separate out all of the clear pieces as they come off the mill. And per a request from the boss, I've been doing this special thing where basically I decide before I make the next cut whether it's going to be a clear piece or not, and then cut it at five quarter instead of four quarter, one inch. Um, that way that the customer has some room to work with if they'd like to plane it down, you know, if that's something that they desire. Anyways, that's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.